Hey everyone, welcome to Sketch A Day. I'm Spencer, and today we have a special video request from one of our patrons, Lori, who asked, Okay, so I have a serious request, the top view of a sneaker. I'm struggling. Well, Lori, you're in luck. I'm making this video to answer your question. If it's your first time on Sketch A Day, definitely hit subscribe, smash that like button, all the good things, but we're gonna jump right into it. So all you're gonna need today is just some pen and paper and maybe a marker for some accent color. Now, I'm not great at drawing people, but I found these books to be super helpful. It's a little hard to see there. This is the Morpho Anatomy for Artists, Hands and Feet. So the first thing I wanna do is point out some proportional things. So here, and you can find this in the video description below, I'll put all the links there for you, is I'm just gonna draw real quick a simple foot shape, all right? So something like this, okay? Now, of course, there's an arch to our foot. We've got a ball, like so. You've got your toe, right? Something like that. And I'm just simplifying this to make this a little bit easier. All right, so there's the ball heel of my foot, arch, and so forth. Now, generally speaking, what I try to do is divide this into thirds, all right? Just rough thirds. And now what I can do is translate this to an overhead view. So let's do a small sketch here, just an overhead view. All right, I'm gonna start with a little rectangle. Now, if you've watched me present before, you'll know that this is kind of a technique that I've used before when drawing. I will kind of draw the uh, side view and then the top view, all right? So for the top view here, let's get a nice center line like so, all right? And I'm just gonna pay attention to where the ball of the foot is or the heel. Now, right about here, let's just rough in kind of an egg shape like so, all right? And for ball of our foot here, okay, it's gonna be right about there, but I'm gonna draw a line at a slight angle like so, because your feet aren't just square, right? And if I just describe an arc, something like that, round that out like so, and kind of round right at this point here. Okay, so you see how that correlates, right? Right at the ball down to this curve, and then the outside of the foot right here. We can make an arc if you want, right? So you're gonna have your, your big toe and all your other toes here, right? See how that works? Maybe even something like that for your foot shape. Now, in between this oval and the ball of our foot, I can just scribe a little arc like so, and on the outside, something like so, all right? Okay, generic foot shape. Well, what does that mean for a shoe? Well, if I were drawing a shoe, what I could do to kind of simplify this, because our shoe is going to be essentially something like this, okay? If I were drawing a shoe around this foot, it might look something like so, all right? Just rough that in, something like that. So for an actual shoe, what, I'll, what I would do, actually let's extend our toe of our shoe. We don't want that too tight. We don't want that too tight on the, sh on the foot, all right? So now I have a line out here, okay? And I have the bottom of my shoe there. So for the shoe itself, what I'm gonna do is we'll just draw an oval, another oval, like so. And notice that this oval is kind of shooting off like so, and this one straight. That's because of the shape of the foot. And then I can combine my shapes with a nice outline like so. And that gives me the rough shape of a shoe. All right, so there's a little bit of an intro. Now let's jump into some observations. So I actually have two shoes here. I've got, uh, these are mine actually, campers, some of my favorite shoes. And you can kind of see the shape on the bottom of the shoe, right? So there's our thumbnail. And there's a shoe. Depending on which shoe it is, notice that the outside's a little bit straighter. Okay, you can almost see that oval shape right there. All right, you can kind of see an oval shape there as well. When I flip it over, whoa, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit straighter. So in my sketch here, you could argue or say that perhaps this is the outsole. Now, if I were drawing the actual shoe on top of this, we're gonna have some body to it, okay? Maybe just a little bit. If it's a newer shoe, you may not have that relaxed shape, but I can expand this out just a little bit. 
Okay, so there it is from the top. Let's look at another example. So I've got these Adidas Pharrell sneakers, right? There's that side view shape. There's the bottom shape. I've got an oval, right? And, and you can take your finger calipers, as I call them, kind of measure one, two, three. And you notice that even the, the outsole here is proportioned into roughly thirds. I like to uh, take a look at real things and try and estimate or guesstimate what the proportion is. I find it super helpful. Okay, Try and find the geometry in, in the things around you. Here's the top view now. And you can kind of see it's a little bit straighter on the outside. We've got that uh, tilted oval and another oval. So let's draw. Let's draw a shoe in top view. All right. So I'll just leave this here as reference so we can see this. All right. OK, so let's draw a center line. All right. Center lines are helpful in terms of placement. And I have an oval here, just nice and light with my ballpoint pen. And then I'm going to draw a tilted oval like so connect with an arc like so all right something like that maybe a secondary arc here and now i need to draw the opening for the shoe or the throat i believe it's called i'm terrible at names so <laughs> forgive me but uh this portion of the shoe here is what i'm going to draw next all right so i'll draw another curve just as a placeholder all right we also have an eye stay all right so depending on on the design of your shoe, you may end up with something like this, for example, okay, where your laces are going to go. And we can kind of sketch those in just nice and light. We're going to work light until we get it right. Okay, just like so, a couple laces. And maybe there's some sort of overlay or stitch, whatever is happening. Maybe this is kind of a funky shoe. And I'll change the shape here just a little bit squared off like so and we're going to see a little bit of the tooling as well all right so here around the back like so all right maybe on the side here we're going to see a little bit of that tooling okay and how about we just throw a logo on we'll make this a nike shoe but from top view it's going to be slightly distorted all right be a distorted logo now perhaps we have some sort of pull tab on the back you can sketch that in and of course the tongue of our shoe and if it's constructed like this one where we have a single piece upper then i don't need to you know indicate that that tongue goes back but i'll do this as a two piece all right and i guess we'd have Maybe a little indication of lace here. All right, and let's just add a little detail here on the tongue, or for the tongue rather, and a little bit of that also. So like I said, working light until we get it right. So now that I'm at this point, I can start rotating my page a little bit. Okay, and just hit this outline with the ballpoint pen. Draw with your shoulder where possible, but the nice thing with a ballpoint pen is it kind of acts like like a pencil in some regard you know I can come in and have some shading here for example on this uh, tooling as it's called this portion of the shoe that perhaps has our cushioning maybe there's a little cushion insert here a little bubble if you will maybe there's another bubble on this side we can enhance some of our lines like so and just work it that way all right now, i'm not going to take this all the way to what i would consider to be a super tight finish sketch but let's just work on the laces a little bit all right so we have one and now all you need to do is kind of alternate all right so i know this lace okay so the, the lace going this way is always going to overlap, go into a hole, and then come out like so. All right, so in, out, in, and I just need to move the position of this one here a little bit out. All right, and as long as you follow that pattern, 
you're okay. All right, as long as you follow, oops, wrong position there. As long as you follow that pattern, you're okay. Don't do what I just did, but uh, just follow that pattern and you should be okay. All right, so I'm gonna draw these first and then now I can do this side, all right, where we're gonna have our laces go in and out, in and out, in and out, just like so. Okay, got a little got a little mixed up there, but I think we're okay. I think we're okay. This one's actually the one that's off. A little bit mixed up, but it's all good. All right. So the reason I say it's all good is I can go a little bit darker with uh, this lace, and it should be fine. All right. So let's let's add a little bit of color. I'm going to make the tongue here yellow. So I'll just take this yellow marker and let's go ahead and just add some yellow here. And maybe we'll make the laces a little bit dark. All right, just like so. And just by way of information, I'm using regular printer paper here. This is not marker paper, and these are chart pack markers. If you're curious about the stuff I use, you can always check out the link, sketchaday.com slash stuff. That has links to all of these materials. So I'm using chart pack markers today. So this is what I meant by, hey, I can fix this. You know, just shade in my laces. I'll make them dark with my ballpoint pen here. All right, so maybe we have some dark, dark laces there. Here's our Nike logo on the side. And now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep this light. So using just a gray marker for some additional tone, maybe some shadow here and there on the side of our shoe. And if you, if you have specific materials or colors, you can always use a marker that has those colors. Um, in this case, I'm just communicating the form of the shoe and perhaps I'll just shade in this portion. It's kind of a little breakout here. All right. Now, if you want to be uh, particular, just make sure that you space the holes for your laces more evenly than I did. All right. I'm not taking as much care as I could right there with the shoe. Um, now that I have the marker on, I'm just going to enhance this part break a bit right there, right there. And now perhaps create a little bit of texture with some hatching. Okay. By hatching, I mean a series of parallel lines, evenly spaced like so. And if you want to switch direction, we can do that. And now we have a mesh section here on our upper, all right? Just like that. And for good measure and contrast, let's just shade the inside of the shoe here. All right, just using a darker gray marker now. Shade that in. All right, and there is our shoe sketch. Pretty simple when you break it down. So my advice to you, if you're gonna do something like this, is to try and find, let's just throw in the other lace lace right there. Try and find the pattern, okay? So try and find the pattern in what you're doing, um, whether it's a series of ovals or whatever the case may be, and use that to create some rationale around your sketch. And you'll find that it's a little bit easier to draw things like this, okay? So hopefully this was helpful. Um, in terms of drawing a sneaker from top view. Well, thanks everyone. Hopefully that was informative and gave you a few tips or ideas on how you can break something down and understand. Like I said, links will be provided in the description below. So check those out for the Morpho book if you need help with anatomy, as well as if you're curious about the materials I used in the video. 
If you need additional help, be sure to check out sketchaday.com slash discord. We have a community as well as weekly challenges. And on Fridays, we do Fan Friday, where we feature your work and go over those challenges as well. Thanks, everyone. Take care.